The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported that episode 35 of the ongoing Halamaumau eruption began at approximately 25 HST on October 1765, UTC on October 18. Producing simultaneous fountains from the north and south vents that reached record heights of roughly 460 meters, 1,500 feet. The eruption cloud rose above 6,000 meters, 20,000 feet, while lava flows remained contained within the crater. Precursory overflow and drainback activity that started at 1928 HST rapidly evolved into vigorous fountaining from the north vent, followed minutes later by a second vent to the south. This marked the highest observed height since the eruption began in December 2024. By 2130 HST, the south vent had reached 400 meters, 1,300 feet, while the north vent produced fountains of about 330 meters, 1,100 feet. The final USGS message of the night, issued at 2211 HST, confirmed record fountaining for the current eruption cycle. According to the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory's daily update on October 17, the volcano remains at level watch and aviation color code orange. Continuous tremor and summit inflation preceding the event indicated that magma was present at shallow levels beneath both vents. In the 24 hours before the eruption, the Uwakahuna tilt meter recorded 23 microradians of inflation, similar to the pressurization that preceded episode 34 on October 1, which produced fountains up to 400 meters, 1,300 feet. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory estimated an erupted volume of approximately 9 million 9 cubed, 2.5 billion gallons, and maximum effusion rates near 380 cubic meters per second, 500 cubic yards per second. Episode 35 is expected to produce comparable or greater volumes, although measurements are still in progress. Lava flows remain confined to the floor of Halemaumau Crater within the summit caldera Kaluapele and do not pose a threat to nearby communities. The ongoing eruption sequence, active since the 23rd of December 2024, is characterized by short-lived but intense episodes of fountaining separated by pauses lasting several days to a week. Each episode is accompanied by rapid deflation of the summit region followed by steady reinflation as the magma chamber repressurizes. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientists note that this pattern closely resembles the episodic fountaining behavior of the 1,983 Pu'u'o eruption on Kilauea's East Rift Zone. Average sulfur dioxide, one SU emissions during pauses are about 1,200-1,500 tons per day, with short-term bursts during active fountaining. Elevated gas output contributes to the formation of VOG that can drift downwind across the island. Strands of volcanic glass known as Pele's hair have been observed across the summit region.
Authorities warn that Pele's hair and other fine tephra fragments may cause skin or eye irritation and contaminate water catchment systems. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park remains open with restricted access to areas near the summit due to crater wall instability, ground cracking, and the potential for rock falls triggered by seismic activity. As of early October 1-8 UTC, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports continued strong tremor and high radiant output from both vents visible on summit webcams and live streams. Monitoring instruments indicate ongoing magma supply to the shallow reservoir beneath Halamauma'u. Additional episodic activity is likely as summit inflation continues.